Hello there, I'm going to show you how to make this glasses case. It has a flex frame and it flexes out like so and you can store your glasses, these are quite big glasses, in quite comfortably. So what you're going to need for your glasses case? Obviously you are going to need a flex frame and this is a flex frame it has a pin i've got it at the other side there my flex frame is four inches so whatever the size of your flex frame the width of your fabric just needs to be half an inch more this is my lining for my glasses case and it is four and a half inches by eight inches in length i have the same dimensions in fusible fleece this fusible fleece will be adhered to my lining sections later. I have an external piece for the back of my glasses case, which is four and a half inches by eight inches. For the front of my glasses case, I am going to be using these two and a half inch square in the middle. And I'm going to have two strips at the side. So my side strips will measure the eight inches in length and as long as it is one and a half inches in width you are good to go so let's start sewing the front of our glasses case and i'm going to do it with these four two and a half inch squares i'm going to sew them all together going down so you're going to take one section you're going to place it right sides together and you are going to sew at the bottom I sew using a Babelux Soprano and I'm not paid nor sponsored to create this video. In my thread up here, I am going to have a white polyester thread. I have my quarter of an inch foot with guys on my sewing machine and I also have a white polyester thread in my bobbin area. I have my pivot key on and what that pivot key does is every time I press my foot accelerator, my presser foot will automatically raise up without me having to close the back of the machine, lifting it up and down. So I'll just demonstrate that. See how it automatically comes up and then I'll press my foot and it automatically goes down. So I am going to sew these squares together. This is what it looks like. We've just sewed these together and then we're going to open them out. I'm not just going to bother pressing them just yet. I'm just going to finger press them along and then I'm going to get my next section and I'm going to place that right sides together on the next square and then we're going to put it back into our sewing machine and we are going to sew right along here. So what you need to do now is turn it over and press these into place. So for the next part of our glasses case, I am going to add the two side sections. And how we do that is right sides together at each side and we're going to sew down one side and then open that up and then we're going to attach the other side sew that along and open it up it's going to be too wide and we are going to have to cut it down so i'm going to cut this down to size i want this to be eight inches by four and a half the next thing i'm going to do with my glasses case is i'm going to adhere the fusible which is generally like you can tell there's adhesive on one side and there's none on the other i'm going to put the adhesive side to the wrong side of the fabric. On the reverse section, we are going to measure two and a half inches from the top. And we're going to make a line. I'm doing this using my friction pen. And we're going to do that on the reverse side of our lining sections as well. Maybe a bit tricky because you've got that fusible fleece on the inside of your glasses case. Might have to do it a few times. We're going to put the two lining sections together, right sides facing. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sew around, but you're going to have to leave like a two inch opening 
do it at the side so you're going to go all the way around and you're going to stop at this two and a half inch line here but don't forget your two inch opening i'm just going to cut my threads away here so i sewed them all, all the way around and i left this opening like i said and also that two and a half inch now take your external pieces and we're going to do exactly the same but we're not going to leave an opening so we're going to sew all the way around here but we're going to stop at these lines and here we go so we've got that two and a half inch opening and i have sewed everything up so i am just going to snip the excess here well, I'm just going to be careful not to snip my stitches. Now we're going to open your glasses case up and we're going to turn it to the right sides and you're just going to like poke out the corners and make it look pretty. So don't turn your lining right sides out but with the external right sides out you're going to push it inside so basically you've got right sides to right sides so this is right side and then this is right side and you're going to push that down you're going to open this out and you're going to clip these sides together First of all, we are going to sew across this section here and then across this section here. And then we have to sew these sections. So push it in as best as you can and then clip. And basically you're going to sew this section alone, sew this section alone, sew this one alone and this alone. Don't go all straight across, do them all as four different sections. Just snip away all of them loose threads. And I just like to cut them corners. Now remember that we had the opening, so we're just going to pull everything right sides through. We're going to fold this opening back and then we're going to sew this opening shut here. Now you're going to push the lining inside of the pouch. Then I would go ahead and give it another press. Now open one of the flaps back and just grip it. So it's just out of your way. Then you're going to fold this flap over and you are going to stitch this into place. What you are doing here is providing a casing for that flex frame to go through. So for the other side, might be wise just to pin this one back as well, just so it's out of your way. And we can deal with that other side of our glasses case for our flex frame fold it over and then you're going to sew this side into place now let's get our flex frame and they both have to go through at exactly the same time and then just push it on through and it'll come out the other end your flex frame will come with some sort of a screw and then you just clasp these two together so there's two at one each end and then one goes in the middle and then you're just going to push that all the way down. I might need a plier just to get that in. Yep. And it's literally just slotted in just like that. Really simple. And then just work your fabric back over that frame. The, the flex frame may be a little bit stiff when you first go to use it but after a while it will it will loosen up. I hope you've enjoyed this classes 
case tutorial just going to put my glasses in just to show you that they fit comfortably inside of there and they're not going anywhere if you do need to make them a little bit longer then you can do and they're just about the right size so the finished size of this case is six and a half tall by four inches in width.